uh, back with uh, this funny little game. So, um, hey, we're on an emulator. Yeah. So, okay. I had Don't do it. Yep. I had to make sure the um, thing was actually synced properly. But yeah, uh, 3DS uh, 3DS recording sucks ass. So I told, but I talked before about how um, it was a headache to like actually record the thing in the first place. But then. As I was trying to see if I can make the thing work without um, freezing, it then decided to just stop work working entirely. Um, so I was just like, you know what, screw this. I'm, j I'm just gonna find an emulator and try and work with that. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm using Citra and um, it's mainly been working okay. Like if a game does has too much going on at once, then it's a bit of an issue, but this game's been thankfully fine. I tried like 3D Land, which worked okay-ish, um, but yeah, it's been a thing. And I, <laughs> the less stuff I have to do with 3DS um, games, the better because screw working with this stuff. On the on the on the on there, uh, uh, there is one big benefit. Me and me and Scrappy can actually hear now. That is nice, yeah. Yeah. Oh good. Uh, the one down, the one downside to this is that I have to use the uh, the mouse to use touchscreen stuff. So um, I'm assuming you're just gonna bring over the the leaf icon. I have to like awkwardly do it like this. <laughs> I don't know if you can see my mouse, but I don't I don't think I see it. Yeah. Good. So I I can't go in full screen either, otherwise it just messes the recording up. But. Other than that, we should be fine. And again, a bit we can hear, so... Oh, yeah. okay, I, I thought you were going to make that. Yeah. Um, are you going to go back for the third coin? A second coin? Oh, I didn't... Re okay, yeah. <laughs> we're so discussed talking about the thing. I did notice that pipe that I looked suspicious, but I don't know how to get to that. Well, let's head, well, let's head back a little more. Also, there's, if you hear background noise, that's my family. Yeah. I'll try to mute them. Uh, is that something up there, maybe? Let's Go, keep going left. Yeah, I need to... Okay, yeah, keep going left. Yeah! yeah. Dead. I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, yep. Keep yeah. going left after when you beat this thing. When you Yeah, just go past these guys. Yeah, We're least taking chomp into the wall, probably. Well, I've that was the first one. Oh. Yeah, I didn't... You can do it again. Wait, I think I know, actually. I think I know what's going on here. Yeah, that. Yeah, what? And I gotta do this thing nice. already. Alright. Yeah. Is this gonna actually lead to anything? Uh, oh, wait. Wait, no, that's... Third one. That... God. That was, the, that was the third... That was the third star coin. Yeah, so we're still missing where the second one is, then. It has to be that pipe down there, but how'd you get that? Oh, uh... hold on. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. So, the changes made me panic so much. No! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. The, the, um, the uh, power-ups from uh, Mario Wii would be handy right about now. Just saying. <laughs> that goes silent for a moment. I'm probably just checking something. <laughs> oh, oh. Nee! Alright. Okay, I just want to get the thing and leave. Eh. <laughs>
Give me a mushroom. There we go. And then just get down here. Good. This is a good part, uh, start to the session. I'm glad. I should also notice, uh, point out that I'm using an Xbox controller for this, so this is like extra cursed. Move on with our lives. Why is this like not ground pounding sometimes? Okay. Ah! I am so bad at this. Oh my god. So how are you guys doing? I'm fine, I'm just uh, a little tired. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little exas- maybe a little uh, like, uh, because I'm not playing- oh, okay. Yeah. We're not playing Xenoblade right now. Huh. I'm still, I'm still like 60 hours in. Mm -hmm. Ah! That was you. Oh sh <laughs> I was trying to break it before he mo moved far enough. Excuse me for not being perfect. I was still on you. You are so silly. <laughs> I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to insult or anything. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just making an observation as an outsider. I hope it's not. I. I'll stop talking now. <sighs> Your chain chants really hate you. I don't know how to. Well, I know how to deal with chain chants. It's just like, they're like. I don't. I can't. Like, God. How do you? Yeah, how do? Well, I also they just mostly track Mario and strike. Which makes it really awkward to, like, stomp the, the things. Yeah, I figured that was not gonna work. I was like, oh. I I really feel stupid failing on a level like this. You know, you'll get it. it. Won't take that long. I hope not. This is. So now I know where the, now we know where the third and we know where the third coin is. So. So I want to get this because some mushroom help. Okay. Okay, that works. Oh, okay. I mean, that chump will get the camera like, ah! Yeah. Screw you. No. <laughs> I think the first one's below this guy. Yeah, I need to, like, make this not death. Ground pound you. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Don't, Don't say that. <sighs> just get me to the end. No, I don't care. Just, <laughs> just end. Well, that was a start. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure we missed a secret exit somewhere. Now look at World 2. Oh. New Mario 2. Oh yeah, and also Scrappy, sir. <laughs> I have a headache. Oh. We're in the IGN. Let's see. They really added more bars to the sinister castle music. Yeah. Oh yeah, and since these guys can actually hear it now, they can hear the added bars. I, mean, I knew that was this game's specialty, but it's just kind of funny. Yeah. I, I do... I think the extra bars work in some levels, but when it's added to, like... The, the castle <laughs> levels just don't fit with it. it. Like, it just feels really off. Yeah, a lot of the yeah, a lot of the music is pretty is more or less ripped from Wii, just with like added bars and stuff. I see that there. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna get these. Yeah. Um. Do we, you already have the first secret exit, right? I think so. Do any of the castles in this game have a secret exit? Uh, the castles and the fortresses do. I don't know about castles. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay, I don't... Eh. Oh, that's clever. Okay, no, I, I can still get that. A. Hey. Nice. That is clever. Let me check the. Yeah. Let me check the ghost. Let me check the ghost house. Yeah. There, the ghost has a secret exit. Ghost house. Figured as much. At oh yeah. Players. I... yeah. At the player collects, sees or collects the second star coin, Mario needs to jump, he needs to go forward to the lowest floor, not the platform, and trigger a hidden block to the left. Jump and a question mark block containing a vine leading to the flagpole will appear. I see. Why did Iggy get so tall? Yeah. Okay. I don't re remember where, where he, where Iggy was in, uh, Wii, but the, uh, what, Duns this uh, version of the boss down. It's like, you, you know how the chain chomp gets like really angry and stuff. Uh, it's the same thing that happens in Wii. But the thing is, when that happens, he just goes off screen, and then he chain chomp is just normal when he comes back. So it's just kind of pointless. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. Did it like that? That's kind of what I mean. That's kind of what I mean about. A lot of these being Mario Wii fights, but just not as interesting, on, honestly. You weren't even that hot on the Mario Wii boss fights to begin with. <laughs> uh, I don't... I mean, 2D Mario bosses in general aren't, like, super great, but um, I, I will give... I'll give Mario Wii some credit for, like... Is... Like, that's probably the first game to actually make um, the... Um, uh, Koopalings decent boss fights in a platformer, so... They're not amazing, but... Um... I mean, they're better than what they were in Mario 3 and World, I'll be honest. Mario World had boss fights? Yeah, I mean, that's one thing I will say. O outside of the Bowser fight at the end, uh, Mario World doesn't have, like, the best bosses, really. They're kind of pathetic. <laughs> um... And then, I'll give it some credit for making the Koopalings fight a little bit differently, whereas in Mario 3, they're like, kind of the, just the same, with like, maybe a slight difference or two, like uh, Wendy's, like, rings or whatever. But, Good thing yeah. I muted myself. Yeah. So what am I looking for? The second star coin. Okay. Also, I found out- I found out the- yeah, I- I- 
think. I found out the hard way, by the way, that the giant boo is an instant kill. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you have a power-up. Yeah, it says here you need to go to the lowest platform, in the lowest floor that's not the platform, and trigger a hidden block to the left. So this should be the second star coin, then. Yeah. Yeah. See, uh... uh... Let's see. Oh, is it... Wait, what? Don't move. Let me read it. Alright. Jump and a hit and a question... Let's see. Trigger a hidden block to the left, it says. Uh. It's not telling me exactly, but maybe if I look at a level map. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Oh, is it like here? Because I saw coins. Well, we got to the third one, we're too late. That's the third one. Uh. Oh, it's not an instant kill. I thought it was. What, huh. what are you doing? Well, he, he died. He missed it. Yeah. It says, after the player sees or collects a second star coin, Mario needs to go forward to the lowest floor, that's not the platform, and trigger a hidden block to the left. I love hidden Let blocks. Me... Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at a- yeah, I'm looking at a stage layout to see if I can figure it out. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Aha, I found it. Oh, okay. I'll tell you where it is once you get there. Yeah. And it may... I feel like I might have been a bit too harsh on Wii, because uh, I... I probably would play it over this... Well, I, I'm not going to say some, so much about this game yet, because fin we haven't finished it, but... Well, we, we, yeah, we're only two sessions. We're only three sessions in, so... <laughs> and we also um, had a bunch of issues which kind of soured the experience. Um, yeah, I don't. Oh, that's not the game. That's not the game's fault. It's not oh, the it's game. Still it's still inches towards you. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> so you can't just stick around forever. Maybe it's instant kill if its eyes are open. Maybe. So I, yeah, I could have sworn that happened to me, but I don't know. So. All right, keep going forward. Keep going forward. Don't worry about this. Yeah, I just need to. All right, go down. One more. Right here? Yep, jump! No, a little more. Oh, yeah? No, 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 no. No, you, 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 went, you went past it. Wait, what? You had to hug the wall. Oh. Oh, pfft. Go, 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 go! <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had to follow the coins. <laughs> uh. But yeah, no, I... I'd, I'd definitely play Wii over DS at least. I don't know about this or you, but um, I think I don't know. It, it's just you kind of leave Harry. yeah. It's not exactly easy to use that, but yeah. Um, I, I guess it's just kind of easy to uh, pick on the series after DS because um, you know s same world tropes and all that. Um, I mean, I don't think that's gonna change with another- with an actual- Let me rephrase that. Mm -hmm. Even with a new art direction, I don't think that's gonna change. <laughs> like, Mario uh, keeps its level tropes here for a reason. Oh, okay, well- Okay, what- I guess we're gonna talk about this then. Um, the, um... The issue isn't necessarily that they're using the, um... Like, the, these like the same level tropes is the it's the fact that um, each new Super Mario Bros. game uses the same eight ones, um, and I'm not necessarily asking for every every game to have like un eight unique like sets of worlds or whatever. Um, I'm just I think it would be nice if um, they tried a bit tried a bit more like. Had like oh I need to do this. Um, had like <laughs> maybe maybe like four of the worlds be unique or something and or I don't know. It's weird because I feel like sometimes like this game and Mario U I feel like they try to uh, do some cool things but it feels like they don't go all the way. Um, and what I mean by that is that some levels in like this Dairy World 2 for instance, 
Um, it was like platforming on totem poles and stuff like that. Um, and I'm getting ahead of myself, but with Mario U, you have stuff like the uh, sunken ghost ship and like a lot of. Th there's a few really cool ghost levels in that game. Sunken ghost ship is a Mario World thing. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, it's also a thing in Mario World, but what I'm getting at is that um, it, I. It, if they can do cool level f level ideas like that, um, I think it would be cool, like nicer if they actually did say like a, a full world of that style, and then it would uh, make things more interesting than like always having the desert in World Two, and then at some point you go to a ice level and all that stuff. Like I'm not necessarily opposed to these tropes existing. It's more the fact that like every new Mario game has to have each one of these and like it's that they don't like have a world kind of formulaic at this point. Yeah it, it's it feels too safe if you will because like, I I I don't wanna like the Mario world should be fantastical and weird and I feel like when you expect the like specific worlds every time it kind of loses that. Um and I I don't know I I know that the budget is not necessarily the same between 3D Mario stuff and like the 2D stuff, that's fine. I just wish there was like a bit more going on sometimes, uh, cause... You felt way too sus. Yeah, when yeah. I saw coins, like, yeah. Uh, cause like the... These games are well designed, like they're, they're good platformers and they're probably the most, uh, um... What's you know? Damn it. I know what I'm doing here. Uh, I've seen this before, but um. Okay, let's take a volcano. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the the new Super Mario Bros. games are really fun, and um, like the core gameplay is just is satisfying, and it's probably the most. Uh, I don't know what how to call what to call it, but it's like the most um, clean, <laughs> uh, like modern. Mario like experience. I don't know how to explain it, but um, it's you get a good Mar uh, um, honest and clean Mario experience from it. Um, that's a good um, modern take on um, like regular two D Mario formula and stuff. Um, but yeah, sometimes I just can't help but wish there was a bit more. Um, like, Alright, now say it's exact same speech for new Mario U, but in HD. Nice. <laughs> like... What, no, no, no applause for that joke? Okay. <laughs> no, no, yeah. So I don't want to get it twisted as well. Like, I do genuinely enjoy these games. I didn't, like, play these and think, oh man, this sucks or anything. Like, honestly, I'd play these over... Um, Mario 1, 2, or 3. Not world, but, um... I do like these games, don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah. Like, even just... And I have to use the uh, mouse again. But yeah, um, even just something as simple as, like, like, Odyssey, where... It does have a lot of like similar like themes, but it adds like this huge, maybe not huge sometimes, but just these little twists that make it feel like a new theme again. Like again, like there's a desert world, but it's like all like Mexican themed and all that, and you go inside a pyramid and all this cool stuff. Um, I I'd be more fine with that if like they tried making it more like stand out more in that way, um, so it doesn't feel like the same thing and that's another thing where um going back to mario u like there's layer cake desert which that would like if they did actually um went through with that and made the desert world like also a, a dessert themed, themed world or whatever um that could have made for a really unique take on a desert world um but they do, don't really have that in uh, sonic lost world <laughs> yeah uh, yeah don't make i'm uh, not necessarily yeah, I don't think necessarily do it as like Sonic Lost World because um, that's just that was more of a pun. Yeah, that was well, it's a pun and also just a 
lol, uh, gotcha. Like, th let's have, like, a, uh, level that doesn't fit the, uh, world aesthetic at all. Um, but... I like the- I, I like- I like- I just like the-, the I just like the- 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 the, the photoshopped in, like, S. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's, um, kind of a shame that they- they call it that, but it's kind of just a regular desert world with, like, those statue things, and- I don't know. It's again one of those things where like, I feel like they could. It feels like they're kind of like attempted to do something cool, but they don't go. I feel like they don't go all the way. If that makes sense. Hmm. Um, and I'm beginning to wonder yeah. if this is why 3D Mario games usually don't take place in the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like that's part of it. I feel like uh, if they. If they go to like a different kingdom or something like, um, like the Mario Land games, for instance, like they go somewhere else, uh, I feel like they'd be more inclined to uh, try be, try to be a bit more daring, maybe. I don't know. Like th this is stuff that I thought about for years, so I've just yeah. trying my trying my best to figure out how to actually articulate this properly. And the thing um, is, we're gonna buy them anyways. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, I think more tired and old than New Super Mario Brothers is discourse on New Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. The thing is, is what, like I said, um, even though I have like these, even though I have these issues, Mario games by their nature are still really fun. So I'm gonna play them, but you know. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it just like, it. the, the shit really only come, really starts to hit you when you think about it. Yeah, it's, the, this is all- I mean, if you just take it for what it is as a, as a fun Mario game, then there's something wrong with it. Yeah, I mean, I think, this, again, this is just stuff I, I thought about for several years, and, um, just, as my, I guess, opinion evolved and changed over time or whatever, um, but like, yeah, it, it's the the fact that like, um, I guess it's mainly the fact that like the um, NES games and World like just feel so different from one another. And then, while these games do have their differences, they feel, for lack of a better term, like they they feel like they're made from the built from the same cloth, if you will. Um, and I can't really say that at, for like the old games. And I feel like that has a lot to do with them feeling just too similar in a lot of ways. Uh, well, Star. I mean, I feel like I said it's during a new Mario Wii playthrough that's partially down to just being a side effect of the Mario canon just not being yeah. solidified yet. Yeah. I kind of like just... Mario 2 yeah. USA probably shouldn't be used as a point in... Probably should not be used as yeah. a point of reference because of its yeah. freakish development. Yeah, Mario, Mario Two. Yeah, Mario Two is a bit of a weird one because either way you go with that is just really weird. Because like, you either get lost to levels, which I'd argue is just not a good game, <laughs> and then you get um, Mario Two USA, which is just a kind of just a freak of nature because <laughs> it's just really weird how that game is. <laughs> like NES sequels. Just... Hmm. Someone tells me you need a coin flower. Probably. I was gonna say NES sequels being weird was the exception, was the rule, not the exception. Yeah, NES NES period is just kind of weird. I I think I uh, mentioned hello. yeah uh, I think I mentioned this in an earlier part, but I feel like a lot of series didn't really know what they wanted to be until the third game because like you get the the first game in like Zelda one, Mario one, and all that, and it's all hunky dory or whatever <laughs> and then you get the second game which is just really weird and experimental and then the third game usually goes back to what the first game did and just expands upon that i mean even stuff like castlevania from what i understand does that yeah so it's just i don't know the, in nes is an interesting period like mega man 2 is probably the only like really iterative of the second game on the nes yeah and that's that might just be down to the fact that Mega Man One isn't wasn't seen like some was not seen as some like great game changer, so to speak. Mm. Not a bad game, but it wasn't like didn't take the world by storm like Mario One and Zelda One did. Yeah. 
Oh, well, you say that now, because like the more I play Mega Man 2, the more I'm like very iffy on it. I'm, I I do enjoy Mega, Mega Man 2, but um, it does have some weird design quirks. <laughs> but we're not talking about that. But anyways, yeah. um, yeah. I just yeah. I feel like we haven't um, heard this theme in a while. Uh, well, we're probably not not gonna hear it for very long. So he just go in underwater. Yeah. Yeah, one thing I will say, um, and this is not exclusive oh, to good. New Mario, this is just 2D Mario in general. Um, I'm <laughs> not the biggest fan of water levels in just 2D Mario games, period. Um, like this, just- No defense. No defense. Yeah. I mean- You made the right choice. I- Yeah, it, basically, it's- I'm not even the bi the biggest fan of most of the ones in Donkey Kong Country games, either. Like. They're better, but um, I I just don't really. Not much. I mean, the level design and like the secrets are fun to find, but I just don't like this style of swimming around. Um, like it just makes you feel so vulnerable and like avoid. Sometimes avoiding things is just not very fun <laughs> in this style. Um, like I prefer. I'm assuming in... you're. I'm assuming yeah. you're. I'm, ex I'm assuming you're leaving out tropical freeze. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, I was gonna bring that up. I I don't dislike all water levels. Uh, it's mainly just the ones that are like in this specific style, because like, when you have... Uh, the, this is more exclusive to like 2D games, I should stress. Uh, like when you have a more free-flowing control, uh, then that's when I enjoy it a lot more, because it, it feels like... I can get away with more stuff, and the level design can be like, like, Ray, like Rayman. Yeah, Rayman Origins and Legends and Tropical Freeze. Do the, the um, yeah, the uh, water levels in those games are some of my favorite parts of those games because just because of how like where dynamic. Start the room, huh? This is where you start the room. Right, I just, I just wanted to make sure. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah the, those games make the water levels really fun. Uh, just because of how they're designed and how you can move around, move around and stuff, um, and I don't know if they can really do that with uh, a Mario game, but I it would be nice to see them try at least, maybe. Oh. I wonder what's up there. Damn it. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. I hope they're just. If they just put the star coin at the end of this, that'll be nice. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> so I guess- a, That might be a secret exit then. Or extra, or just extra coins. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind for later. Then again, we are in a secret. We're Then again, we're on 3A, so... Yeah. I mean... I mean yeah. Secret levels, secret and secret... Goodness gracious. Secret exits and secret levels is new to the series. Yeah. Um... Hmm. Let's go for this. So this world is a mix of the beach and the poison forest. Yeah, that is cool. I like that. Um, that is oh. good. I, I'm good at video game. Um, yeah. What? Because um, this I game has. Like like, mixing games. Yeah, I feel. Yeah, yeah. This is cool. I, I I will give this game credit for this. Um, I do like that they did that because two of the. There's two other special worlds. Uh, what? Two, um, there's three, three special worlds, um, and because of that, um, there's going to be two, uh, two worlds that you'll usually see that are un unaccounted for. So what they do is just they go, uh, go. yeah they um, bundle the was it the forest and the beach uh, levels into one, and I forget what the other theme is that got like removed, but um, guy. Maybe? I don't know. Well, it would be Sky or Mountain. Or I think it's- I think it's Mountain. I could be wrong. They might have put Sky in the, and Mountain in the one, which makes sense. Yeah. Either that or they just cut the mountain entirely. Also, uh, also on topic, I can hear my brother like playing Pokemon Unite in the background and he's- and they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Don't worry about my life. Uh. Oh, I see. No. Yeah, nice. I nice. do. 
I do think those uh, block switches make more sense as being time challenges than like what Mario World does. Because like the thing of the Mario World like Switch Palaces is that you either make the game really hard on yourself by not finding them, or you make like them. You. Oh, like, like Lewis. Yeah, no, I, uh, I'm i not playing that game without finding the Switch Palaces. But, like, you either f make it really hard by, like, not finding them. Like, you'll be surprised how much harder that game is without the Switch Palaces, but... I, I didn't see it myself, but, like, didn't Lewis, like, say he was struggling? <laughs> he was struggling a lot. Um, he was dying a lot in one of the castles. Um, I forget which one, but... Um, it was one where the, there were a bunch of, like, thwomps and li whatever the little thwomps were. Wimps. Wimp. Yeah, like he kept on dying to those. Wasn't that the second castle? I don't. I don't think it was the second one, but um, he was uh, struggling. I'm on it. <laughs> oh gosh, I forgot about the bonefish. Yeah. All right, I'm looking it up. Hold on. Yeah. Two. Um. Yeah. By the power of me being lazy. <laughs> that was my power. <laughs> well, the very first thing you see is a thwomp. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember how far oh, Lewis got. I think... Let me see if he swims. <laughs> I think he might have gone to the forest and then... I, like, he... F he got really confused that he was going in circles. And then he just... Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I, I think... I t yeah, I told... I remember telling him that he needs to, um... Find secret access, and I think he just gave up. I could uh, be wrong. I, I don't know if he'll continue at any point, but... He really needs to just play... Hey, God, next time we should just play two-player. <laughs> what was I gonna say? The, um... The spike pillars look more... That, that look. Whoa! Look more. Oh, sorry, I missed a star coin. I think the spike pillars... Actually, look better here than they do in New Mario Wii. <laughs> oh yeah, they look kind of blurry or something or something. Mm. I can't remember. I'm not sure they were blurry, but they just, they, thing I think it was. <laughs> I think that was the problem. Like it just looked more 3D here because of the 3DS. Mm. Yeah, I guess so. By the power of a really powerful handheld. Well, decently, so. I, I don't know what the specs of the 3DS are. Well, I mean, are, it's, not PS Vita. it's not PS Vita strong. <laughs> no, but it's like... I think it's like... Like, somewhere below... Like, not... I don't know how much so, but like, somewhere below GameCube. Um... But, you know, so. Low game, dude. I don't. I honestly don't believe that. Well, I mean, maybe in some in some ways, yes, and maybe some ways, no. Because um, there's. Hi, Reznor. How you doing today? Oh right, yeah. Uh, I, well, I. <laughs> <laughs> I I say that I say that because there's stuff like the ice climbers in Smash 3DS <laughs> um, that don't exist, <laughs> and then there's. Uh... Oh, wait, wait, what? Yeah, 69 coins. Oh, nice. Um, there's a Smash 3DS stuff, and then there's, like, stuff like Luigi's Mansion Remake, which, um, it technically has better visuals, but that, that's not necessarily the 3DS being more powerful, it's just devs being devs. Uh, but, like, the, <laughs> the game itself doesn't look as clean, if you will. It, like, it, it's like it looks better and worse at the same time. Yeah, like the visual, like, what is it, the, um, the, the textures are, like, more detailed and stuff, but, like, it's still lower res, so it doesn't look, it, to me anyway, it doesn't look as good. It looks so blurry. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm not gonna sit and pretend I know what the actual specs are and all that stuff, but, you know. Also, I'm looking for the level coming right away just to make sure there's no secret exit. Okay, that's the second star coin, so I don't know what I'm missing. Uh, die. Or I can just leave. Yo, 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 you, yeah, I'm looking through the, all the levels to make sure there's no secret exit, right? Hmm. 
We're in the fortress, right? Oh, wait, I think I know what... I, I think I know. Our fortress has a secret exit. Well, I'm gonna see if this is... what it is right here. I guess what, hey, guess what you need to get to it? Pain and stuff. You're not gonna somewhere. like it. You're not gonna like it. Oh, no. Mini mushroom? Correct. Oh. Well, I guess it's fine if I just use it at the very end. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna just get that now, so we don't have to play this level. Is the secret exit. Okay, before the checkpoint and the first area with the spike pillars, there are two brown blocks that will move away from, from Mario to pass through. Following the block on the right will bring Mario to a mini warp pipe. Okay, once... God, I don't want to, like, have this on... Mm. I don't... Ah, uh, fine. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna, uh, <laughs> start using save states, because that's not gonna... At that point, uh, it wouldn't be a true playthrough. I don't know. Man, you're using it. Already not. True playthrough? Yeah, but I'd like to at least make still make it, uh, as authentic as possible. Okay, we get this. Is it at... How far is it into the level? Uh... Located before the second checkpoint and the first area with spiked pillars. There are two brown blocks which will move away to make Mar way for Mario to pass through. Following the block on the right will bring Mario to a mini warp pipe. I see. God, I hate <laughs> trying to imagine how trying to imagine how like tedious progression would be in a 3D space with a mini mushroom. Mm. Yeah, I I hate <laughs> I hate playing as mini Mario. I, I, I guess Tiny Huge Island would be a bit of a sample of that, so... Yeah. Eh. Metal Gear Mario. Uh, oh, is it this? Oh. I see. Okay. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Okay. Okay, please don't- So, do you need the mini mushroom pill? Oh. Yes. I was looking- yeah, tell me where the secret exit was. Uh! Oh god, oh god. Please. Plus. Don't put on any funny business. Oh gosh, that's just so mean. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, easy, easy. Hi, bonefish. Oh, whatever these. I think, is that what they're called? Oh, I have one. Eh. Go, go, go. Is it's gonna end anytime soon? I see. There's your exit. I like cool. I, I like how the uh, I like how the one up mushroom kind of moves a little more slowly in the water. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna fortress and we got this happy music. Yeah. Six six. Yep. Oh. Didn't do that right. This way. I don't know what the uh, things are to get the special levels. <laughs> May as well. How bad will this go? Not at all. Yeah, the, these one-up challenges are really easy in this game. Unless you will miss all of them. 
It is really fun though. I like this. <laughs> oh Mario, you missed one. Time to murder. <laughs> oh, it's like in, in the pulled out the gun. It's like in the 3D games where like you lose a race and you just have like a cardiac arrest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll keep looking through the through the page to see if there's any more secret exits. Yeah, so this should just send us to World Flower. I I do like these, like um, like the um, the fact that they made the cannons actual levels is, instead of just while well, you go to the you uh, skip like half the game. <laughs> Okay, there's actually a secret level, a, a secret in level 3-4. Okay. Um, let's see. You'll need a Stonewalk World 3B. Before warping through the green pipe near the end of the level, the player should be able to see a red pipe underneath Mario for which the path is blocked by, by brick blocks when the toxic purple water lowers. The player will need to use a shell from a nearby Koopa to break the brick in the brick block when the water lowers. Uh, I, I see. Forget I forget the the blue shell is in this game, right? No, mm -hmm. it's that I think that get, um that power up's only in the DS, unfortunately. Yeah, this is a water rise gimmick, apparently. Like, yeah. That was the best power up. Yeah, I I wish it would return into it in another game. I guess. I guess to accommodate co-op, because I wouldn't want to be running into Luigi. Oh yeah, that, that is- yeah, right, yeah, this game does have two-player co-op, I forgot about that. I've never been able to try that, but... Um... The- I know that the, um... Mario DS had, like, some- like, a cool Mario vs. Luigi mode, which was really fun. It had, like, a but like, a handful of, um, unique, like, stages for that. Um, that was one of the best multiplayer modes I've ever, I've ever played. It's definitely up there for the uh, Mario games, for sure. I was gonna say, maybe for the Mario games, because I still say some of the best co-op I've had was like with playing some of the Lego games. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not talking about co-op, I'm talking about like... I'm talking about like just uh, multiplayer versus... Mo well, right. just multiplayer in general, not yeah, yeah. Like co-op. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I'd be I'd, I'd be in general agreement um, with the Lego games. I feel like they've been kind of messed around with lately. Oh, oh. I didn't realize. Oh, it sunk. Yeah, I didn't realize it was sinking. I was I was about to ask, do we sink? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't like I, I was not looking. I was, I was not even looking at that. I was just like, oh yeah, I, I threw the funny Cooper down that pathway, and then like as soon as I looked at where I was, I just I was dead. <laughs> Part of me gets kind of bigger because the way they're bobbing around when you're jumping on them. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um... Yeah, LEGO games are good, like, co-op. Um, uh, romps, if you will. I I wouldn't say they're the best in terms of uh, being versus games, necessarily, because some LEGO games have, like, a versus mode, which is fun for a little bit, but it's not usually anything, like, amazing. It's just, like... Has anyone ever played... Has anyone ever played Cattle Crashers? Nobody know about it. I played it. Mm. That's played demo that, before. It's like a. It's like a. To me, it's, a, it's like a mix of co-op and, and, and competitive. Mm. Yeah. I, at the end of every level, everybody you always have to beat up each other. <laughs> I've always wanted to play it. I don't know what it's on nowadays. Switch. Oh, I didn't realize it was on Switch. Silly Harry, everything's on Switch. No, well, for, more or less at this point. <laughs> um, what joke was we gonna have? <laughs> no, no, we, we still need Devil's third. <laughs> we, need, mean, we need we need to rise a lyric. <laughs> the best game. All right, let's see where is it. it I should, mean, we we still we, need to get this normal exit anyway. Oh, well, we might as well see. I mean, if we can get the secret exit now, that would also help. I guess. I'm gonna say this is Koopa we need. Probably. Right there, probably. probably this. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, down there. Just wait for this. Run back up, run back up. Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. <that's... laughs> I don't want to live green anymore. Koopas are just... The green Koopas are just very sad. Yeah. yeah. All we do is walk off cliffs. <laughs> back and forward. Back and forward. Right. 
Well, Red I'm... ones are the ones who turn around. <laughs> no, so back and forward, back and forward. Well, I'm sick of it. I'm not going to do okay, it no good. more. It Spins it to Nitro. <laughs> that skunk should have been playable on Nitro Fueled. Oh, that would have been amazing. Some, sometimes when I play Twin Sanity, I just walk around him. <laughs> See, that's so a like very careful to go around those nitro crates then. Wait, what? You, can, you, do you, can you just get get around the nitro crates? I think you can if you're careful enough. Did you re release the game on like I don't know, PS4 and give, make that an achievement? Oh, yes. Is, isn't there an achievement? Your job is done. Hey, your job is done. Spare the skunk. <laughs> oh, that'd be perfect. Good. Your uh, job is done. <laughs> <laughs> I guess with talking about Crash, um, that makes me sad because there was a um, there was like I remember there being like a, a rumor for like um, like a Crash, co like not collection, but like a bunch of old games getting re-released, um, like Rafa Cortex, Tw Twin Sanity, and like Mutant games, and I God that. I, I would really like that just for having a convenient way to play those and not having to um, awkwardly set up like an old console. Um, mainly in the case of Rafa Cortex and Twin Sanity. Um, but it's just. Isn't Twin Sanity like, also like ridiculously hard to emulate? I've heard, I've heard that. Uh, I've heard that as well. I've never tried doing that, so I wouldn't know, but I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'll <laughs> right, we'll do this one first, I guess. 